as a leader, I think that uh, I'm leading by example, honest, uh, hardworking, trust and uh, commitment is very important for me, both in life and, uh, and on the pitch. Demanding a lot from, uh, first of all, from, from myself and then from others also. And uh, I think that I'm kind of coach who are giving the players confidence to express themselves in a, in a best way. I really believe that uh, we will play with a passion, with the right mentality. Uh, I want my teams to be organized, both in defense and, and attack. Uh, I want to play with a high tempo, uh, high intensity, be aggressive, same in both directions. And like I said on the, on the press conference earlier, you know, my success will be if the people who came to this beautiful stadium go after the pitch, you know, proud of the club, of the coach, of the players, and uh, that will be the football which I like to, to see. And uh, you are both Serbian and Icelandic citizen. Uh, you lived on Iceland for 16 years. Right. How would your, how has your time on Iceland like um, affected your both football knowledge, but also how you are as a person? Yeah, good question and, and complicated question because uh, when I came to Iceland, first of all, uh, 2006, it was never a plan to stay so long and I didn't know nothing about Iceland, just where is on the map. So year per year I was playing and uh, start working with the youths during my playing career. Uh, then uh, my wife came from Serbia and we got uh, kids and realized that the life in Iceland is something which, which you like. My career as a player and as a coach was just going way up. So I stopped playing 2012 and then get the opportunity to be assistant coach in the same club when I was playing and coaching all the youths. So I was there three years with uh, Bjatni Johansson, very experienced and slightly coach. And that helps him a lot to, to improve as a coach. So I took with the team 2015. And then after that, I was head coach for uh, almost four years in the same club, you know. And uh, what I think it's 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 important, you know, I connect with uh, with the Osters. The club was, you know, was on the similar stage like Osters today, you know. Osters now eight years without uh, Alsvenska football. Uh, my club in that time was twelve years away from the Premier League. And uh, then we man managed 2016 to get promoted and be stable Premier League team. You know? So. After that, I took one year in Grindavik, same in the Premier League as a head coach. And last two years, I worked as assistant coach in Valur, which is, uh, I can say, biggest club in Iceland. 23 times the Icelandic uh, champion. And uh, head coach who called me to, to assist him is Hemir Gudjonsson, one of the most uh, successful coaches in Iceland ever. So I thought in that time you know, that it would be a good step for, for, for my career. The club and uh, I think all talk what I had in uh, recent days with Jens and, and Vito and uh, their vision about the club and the plans and the strategy, what they want to bring, uh, I think fit well together with me, both as a coach and, uh, and personality. And uh, I feel welcome, very welcome from everyone, from Tube and, and Rasmus as well. So I am really you know, looking forward to start working and get on the pitch. I get contact with uh, with Vito and Jens uh, 10 days ago, something like that, two weeks. And uh, then we're sharing our uh, vision. Uh, they they talk uh, how the strategy will be and what which kind of coach they're looking for. Uh, I said how I'm working and uh, explain to them and show how the uh, my uh, coaching style is, uh, my style of play, uh, my personality. Uh, I try to watch some of the games from Osters just to get informed uh, how I see the team so I can uh, give them the answers. So I think I felt day per day that we are somehow, you know, fitting together and, uh, and uh, having, you know, the almost similar view about the most of the things what, what we discussed. So, so last two, three days that became that it will work from the both sides. And uh, I also need to, to, to say thank you to my club because uh, I had two years more contract in Valur. 
just signed a new contract before two months, but they understand and uh, didn't want to stop me to go abroad, but they, they knew that my ambition is always to go abroad and, 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 and train, coaching in professional leagues. So, so they understand, of course, not easily. They didn't want to miss me, but they understand my ambitions and my willingness to, to come here, you know. So, so I'm really thankful for that. And uh, lastly, do uh, you have um, a greeting or something to say to the fans? I just uh, can say that I will give everything what I have and what I don't have on the pitch and off the pitch, that they feel proud of me as a coach of this great club, like I said, great history and everything. And I will try to get this mentality, my passion, my winning mentality to the players, you know, so, so the people are in Vejo proud of us. Thanks. Thank you.